Now then, YouTube, welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Today we're going to be using the camping aid kit with bandages and butterfly tape. We're going to use the Sweet William sachet as well, sachet as well. Um, Fifty percent blood points in the boldness category for us using that. So without further ado, let's get into the first game of the. Well, we would have if that fucking nonce wouldn't have backed out of the game with eight seconds to go when we'd have literally been ready and up imminently anyway. Annoying. But we will be getting into the game shortly. I'm still ready, all good. We've obviously, as you know, got Spine Chill, Prove Thy Self, Kindred, and Lithe. Lithe. So when I'm in those um, races, I can easily escape. Um, Kindred, again, very useful. Find out where the killer is and where all your teammates are when someone's hooked. Prove thyself, as we know, for the gens. For every other survivor working on a gen within 4 meter range, you get 10% speed repair bonus. Survivors can only be affected by one proof thyself at a time. And then spine chill, as we know, when the killer's looking in your general direction, you feel uneasy. We know what we're taking in with us. All well and good. Let's get ready to go. Really enjoyed Dead by Day last week. Had a couple of really good escapes as well. Had a couple of quite awful ones. And finally, there we are. That fucking twat who took forever to re uh, load up. We're finally in the game. Let's do it. What are we offering for us? Obviously, I'm 50% boldness with the St. William Sachet. 100% in all blood points. 25% for all survivors. Well, that's good. So we'll get an extra 25% in all all as well as obviously the 50% in boldness that we're getting anyway, so thank you for I put that in. Cheers! <sighs> Lovely, let's get going. Obviously, depending on the time of this video, when I've completed this game, it's sort of, I'm quite easy and ongoing. As long as they're between 20 and mi 30 minutes, these DVD videos, I'm quite happy. Whether it has one game or two in, again, I'm quite easy, I don't really mind. Got to record three this week because the fourth that I recorded last week I'm uploading today, as you'll see in this. So I don't need to, I only need to record three videos anyway for Dead by Daylight. A week seems to be about right, about right. So without further ado, that's enough yapping. Let's see what map we're on for our first game of Dead by Daylight this week. So, like I've said a thousand times, I'm really loving playing this at the moment. I'm waiting on a few of my friends to tell me what they think of the new COD before I get it, because I, I begrudge playing it, to be honest, but you never know. COD might see a comeback in the coming weeks and months. Larry's Memorial Institute, the Treatment Theatre. I hate this map. Let's go. moving at last. Cleanse a totem. Move. You could be doing a gen now. Gen there. If you're going to be following me all game, I'm not going to be that impressed. Thomas is doing a gen. We're already halfway through this. That Thomas looks quite close to him, so we just focus on getting this gen done. Prove thyself again. Now we're working as a team on the gens. Massively helps. Yeah, I'm. Don't tell me, I know I'm going to finish this. Right. One person hooked and one gen done. Could be worse.
Don't know what's that. Oh, 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 it's that fucking thing. Sorry, I didn't know you were there, or I wouldn't have um, brought him this way. That is probably the killer I hate more than anyone. If you're going to heal me, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Two people first hooked. Who he coming is double hooked. We've only got one gen done, mind you. I'm going to. Don't fucking. This gen is a really key gen, I believe, on this map to complete if you want to escape. Get on the gen! What is this prick doing? Thomas and Steph both on another gen as well, that's good. He's dead on hook anyway, so full focus from Thomas and Steph, just get the gen done. What we got here? around this way. Go this back corner, see if I can find a gen. Well, I can. Me and you focus on finishing this. Down here. 
We've got a few gems partially done, that's good. There's one right at the bottom, is there? Take him away. What a fucking OP fucking build this that killer is. I hate I, this is one killer that, you know I feel like I can beat any killer besides this one. He's not he's not beatable. Absolute cheat code this killer is. Absolute cheat code. One there. Right, you get me and then heal me and then get on that gen ASAP. No. I don't even have the fucking... I'm dead on hook and I'm... Not in a good way, so... That one's done, of course. I didn't realise there was a door there. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Nothing I can do, unfortunately. Well, I could tell you what I could have checked if there was a door around that corner, but uh, that was a really crap game from our team, but I don't think it's the team's fault. It's just quite simply the killer is broken i hate i don't know i think he's called the knight i think i hate it i to be fair i think next time i come up against him i'd rather just, just fucking leave the game because i fucking hate it that much um what we got i'll have, I'll have escape key i'll have you as well Okay, level 24, and now we're in the game. Finish off our blood points. That gets us plenty of stuff that I will use and that will be useful to me. Oh, you faggot! Come on! 46 and we're ready. So load out. Um, offering wise, let's slightly increase the luck force five as I have got six of them, fourteen of them, twelve of them. We we'll use one of them to get rid of them. Seven of them increase bonus skill check stats by twenty percent. Fuck it, that'll do. Slightly increase the luck of us all. So we are going to do a double game today since it's only 15 minutes into this video. 
I like doing double games. I, I think half an hour is a decent length video for a Dead by Daylight. Especially when you think some people do walkthroughs that are like an hour and a half video uh, videos in length, should I say. I just prefer not to do them that long. So I can... Uh, so I can... Um, it doesn't take as long to upload and use my internet. Because everything in my house is connected to the internet. If I want to watch Sky Sports, it's fine now TV. Internet. Absolutely everything's on the internet. So uploading a video to YouTube does slow my internet speed down a little bit. It's not too bad, but you can, that the quality won't be HD watching football, for example. So I try to have shorter videos, so videos take a lot less time to upload. So 100% for all categories for all players. Thank you. Slightly increases look, and then one more chest. So that's nice that every single player in this game has got the 100% uh, uh, blood points added in all categories. So, again, thank you to whoever posted that. Facing the dredge. Charges more quickly when players are injured. So to heal quickly. And I've got a, what do you call it, to be able to do that. Uh, excuse me, a first aid kit. So, yeah. We'll see how we do. Second game of the video end of the day then two more videos will be done we're at father campbell's chapel crotus pren asylum a map i really like but never really get the opportunity to play on and um, straight away let's go So they're both damage. Time to use life. That didn't work. No one's been hooked and he's got a gen done, so. Very much worth it, and he's took her away from the killer shack, so I can get back on this. And it looks like that venomous lush has got the same idea. Oh, thank you. Come on, I've got to prove thyself. We'll smash through this. We have smashed through it. Fantastic. Ah! Bastards. What the fuck? Oh, Venomous Lush is back on that one. Good. Three, two, one.
What? Oh well, we escaped. Um, that will do for this video. It looks like the killer, the killer must have rage crit. And to be fair, the killer was absolutely crap. So um, I'll take that. Thank you very much. We'll finish off this video by upgrading our blood points, and I'll see you next episode. We've gone from a really annoying, frustrating, very hard game with that fucking knight that I absolutely despise to one of the worst kills I've played against and one of the easiest escapes I've ever had. And the killer must have been getting frustrated because none of us were even really getting injured that badly, to be honest. Oh, let's took that one as well off. Key. And med kit. And yet another fucking sachet. Brand new part. Take one of them. Just take that. Take a. Never have too many. What's that? That's a uh, spawning in the main building. And the killer shed don't really matter to me. Take whichever. They're both about as irrelevant as each other. Level 26 now. Over halfway to second prestige. hopefully be able to get that and then that for next episode thank you as always for watching please like please subscribe and i'll see you next episode for some more dead by daylight cheers take care bye bye